Uh, Dre, just start off. The excitement level for you guys to win back-to-back -back games in a tournament setting against two quality opponents, and now you know you get your you get a, you get a shot uh, in the championship game. I mean, yeah, it's pretty exciting, but at the same time, it's kind of um, I'm not gonna say like we deserve it, but we worked hard for it, so it's kind of just rewarding to know that we got what we earned. You have a tremendous level of confidence in yourself and what you can do and what you can bring each and every day. What did you feel that was special about the day? And uh, just due to the matchup that you had that was going to allow you to be able to have the performance that you did? Um, I think it started with TP yesterday. He told me after uh, after I won yesterday, he said, we got a, got a big challenge. Well, after you know, we found out who we were playing next, he said, you know, you got a big challenge coming up for you. You know, they got a lot of athletes and a lot of size. I said, you know what, I'm ready. You know, I like. I always, I always think it's fun playing against somebody my size and bigger, you know, and especially just, just athletes in general. Um, I don't know, I think it just make, it, it brings out the, the edge in me a little bit. What does it bring out in you? What is that edge? How would you describe that edge and how that was really portrayed? Um, I think just today playing against uh, number 30, he was, he was obviously, well, he was a lot stronger, a lot more solid. Uh, kind of reminds me of more like the muscular uh, Brandon Murphy. And uh, I don't know, just to, just to say going up against somebody like that, it, it, um, it's, I don't know, it just kind of brings out the dog in you a little bit. I remember talking to you over the summer, and it was after your knee surgery, and you said, you know, I, I take a lot of, uh, you know, I want to shoulder a lot of how good this team can be because you guys knew what you had at your guards. You guys knew that you guys in the post could really maybe be the difference for this team to be really, really good and take those extra steps and go where you've never been. How did today's game, did you feel, really exemplify that and what you, Bronson, and the rest of you guys were able to do and taking advantage of those opportunities you had. You know, I didn't even realize how many points that me and Bronson had combined, but I think it was just the fact that when we were both out there, we were just giving it our all. And, and, and it took, you know, JB as a leader, you know, he's a, he's a great leader for the team. It took um, a lot of him talking to, to bring that out in, in us, and uh, I think he did a pretty good job in that. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I've asked every question in the book about Jordan Barnes. I don't know how many there's how many more ways I can describe it differently. But just for you as a teammate of his, to watch what he does, let alone in games, but in practice, in a moment like today, though, when you need a big shot, he makes a big shot. What more? Can, what can you say of being a teammate of his, and how that just comes out of him? I mean. It's amazing. It kind of relieves some of the slack that we have to do, but at the, at the same time, you know, that's not saying we can take a break, you know, because we, we're going to have teams who double, you know, triple team him, try to take away a shot, and then, that means the next man has to step up, whether it be Tyreek Key or me or Bronson or Devin or Christian or Coop, you know. Um, he, he's, he's a great player, great teammate, great brother, but um, at the end of the day, that everybody knows how good he is, and um, they're going to try to take that away from him, and we got to be there to have his back. I don't want to say, because I've been around you guys, that you haven't had fun in the past couple of years around your teammates, because you guys had. You've shared a lot of good moments. But it does feel like this year is just a little bit of a different vibe. What do you enjoy so much about not just playing with your teammates, but to have a moment like you did with JB in the locker room and to be able to celebrate together? Um, I think it's just because, because again, it all comes down to, to our off-court chemistry and the um, what we know we can't, what we know we can do on and off the court, um, and how we know each other, like how we know each other player is going to react to it, and how the coach is going to react to it. You know, in my four years, I think this is probably like one of the best relation, like player, player coach relationships that everybody has with Coach Lanson. And that, that's just my personal opinion. I could obviously be wrong, but that's just that's what I think.